Good evening. Time's ticking for the Youngstown Education Association to reach a contract agreement with Youngstown City Schools. With union negotiations now at a standstill, the teachers union, comprised of nearly 450 educators, is still planning to strike the first day of school. Now, with ongoing disagreements on both sides, over 200 educators stood in solidarity as the district shared new details on negotiations. A room of red at Wednesday's Youngstown City School Board meeting as contract disagreements continue between the teachers union and district officials. The uh, issue here is that they need to get to the table. We had enough trouble getting them to the table in the first place. Educators are asking for better pay and safer working conditions, officially filing a 10-day intent to strike notice this week. That makes August 23rd the first day of the strike, which is also the first day of the school year. The district is offering a 2% raise to educators, but the union wants 5.5%. I don't know if it's about these two holes that we got on the side of our pants that's called pockets or those wallets, but at the end of the day, we got kids that we're losing. We're losing kids now more than, more than adults. Now this comes as both sides are accusing the other for not wanting to schedule future negotiation dates with the school year coming up fast. The district issuing this statement Wednesday that reads in part, the Youngstown City School District continues to have an open door for dialogue with our teachers union negotiating team and the district is willing to meet with the union at any place or any time to continue discussions for a new contract. I see that they're putting out a message that, you know, we're trying to avoid coming in the table or whatever they're saying. That couldn't be further from the truth. The school board immediately went into executive session regarding negotiations, but they did not disclose what was discussed. In the same press release, the district revealed the teachers union withdrew their fact-finding request and later issued that strike notice. The bottom line to me at this point is get to the table and set a good example for kids by being honest. Now, the school board also discussed their concern of short staffing involving teachers and school bus drivers for the upcoming school year.